Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's session, we will be discussing about drug calculation of injection insulin infusion using a syringe pump. Injection human actropid is a short-acting insulin used to treat type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Indications of human actropid includes type 1 diabetes mellitus, type 2 diabetes mellitus, diabetic ketoacidosis, and hyperkalemia. Now, how is it available? Injection human actropid comes in vial forms with 40 international unit per ml in a 10 ml vial. Now, for a standard infusion, 50 units of actropid insulin is diluted in 50 ml sodium chloride 0.9% that is 1 unit per ml via syringe pump. In some of the institutions, 40 units actropid insulin is mixed in 40 ml sodium chloride 0.9% 1 unit per ml via syringe pump. Let's get into the calculation example. Doctor's prescription for injection human atropid insulin infusion is 4 units per hour. How do we do this? To prepare an infusion, all we need is a syringe pump, a PM line, a 50 ml syringe and the solution for dilution. And the IV compatible solutions for diluting atropid is normal saline and dextrose 5%. It is diluted in saline for hyperglycemia and 5% dextrose for hyperkalemia. A very important thing before beginning the infusion is the presence of a very good intravenous access line. Now getting into the calculation, the formula for calculation is desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose which gives the ml per hour. And the first example is injection human atropid insulin infusion 4 units per hour according to doctor's prescription. Now, 50 units of atropid insulin is diluted in 50 ml sodium chloride 0.9% that is 1 unit per ml via syringe pump. Here, the desired dose is 4, quantity will be 50 that is 50 units with normal saline, available dose is 50 and applying all into the formula we get the answer 4 ml per hour. Applying the same example for the other dilution ratio is 40 units atropid insulin in 40 ml sodium chloride 0.9% that is 1 unit per ml via syringe pump. Here the desired dose is 4, quantity is 40 that is 40 units with normal saline, available dose is 40 and applying all into the formula we get the answer 4 ml per hour. Now let's look into some of the important nursing responsibilities during injection human atropid infusion. Hourly monitoring blood glucose level monitoring the vital signs, intravenous fluids should be administered through a separate cannula, follow IV sliding scale for the rate of infusion if applicable, if infusion is for hyperkalemia, monitor the serum potassium level. One more thing is, the dilution and calculation so far we have discussed is only about hyperglycemia management. So this is all about drug calculation of injection human atropid infusion via syringe pump. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.